Hello Finksters, welcome to another Finkster tutorial. In this tutorial, let's learn how to insert some string within a given string at a particular index. So before we get started, let's clear some basic understanding of ours about the string objects. So are the string objects mutable? Meaning, can they be changed? Yes or no? Give it a thought. So let's see what happens. This, this is a string which is let's learn python now i'll say word of four and uh, see what gets printed so as you can see s gets printed here now let's say i'll do some assignment here something like word of four is equal to m something like this and uh, try to run this program you can see that string object does not support item assignment is what they're telling basically the string objects are immutable okay the objects cannot be modified but then you can ask me that there are so many string insertion operations string replacement operations that happens we can replace the string and all of that in that case what happens so let's see let's take an example of replacing a string or uh, yeah so what happens is if you can see uh, print i'll say id of word okay and uh, i'll just replace the string maybe i'll say word dot uh, replace some characters on the string anyway okay so i'll just replace the letters s letter s with the letter m okay and now I'll okay. word equal to word dot replace. So now I'll print the ID of this. As you can see, both the IDs are different here. Here it ends with uh, 2960 and it is 2448. So this means that whenever we perform a replacement operation or whenever we try to modify the strings, instead of making the changes to the same string object, a new string object is returned. Okay, so this means that whenever we make any changes to the string, the changes are not made to the main string objects as such the original string object as such but then a new string object is created every time and that is how the string replacement works or the string modification works in python okay so now that we have understood what actually happens when we modify a string that is a new object gets created so the string object as such is immutable it cannot be changed but however when we perform the replacement operations or when we perform any modification operation for that matter a new object is returned now that we've understood the basics here let's get into the main topic that is inserting the particular string at a particular index okay so there are two methods of doing this one way is using the string slicing and the other way is using uh, the list or converting the string to the list and then using the insert method on it so let's uh, see the first method so using string slicing firstly we'll have to find the index at which the new string has to be inserted let's say we want to inst insert a string here after learn and uh, before programming so for that what we do is we find the index of the word programming and uh, it gives us the index of um, this this place actually and then uh, we'll insert the particular string at that index using the slicing operator that is, uh, we'll say word of, it will start from the first index and we'll go on up to this index. For example, I'll just give print of index here. And now run this program. So the index is 12. So 
that is like from the beginning to the 12th index we print first so it's like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and this is the 12th one which will not be included right so it will be till learn space so we are printing the string till there and then adding python you know the string called python with a space and then again we are printing the list from index till the end so let me uncomment it and run this program okay i'll just print the final word here this is something that we don't need so i'm just removing it off now you can see that python gets added here but uh, while using this method we'll have to be a little careful let's say the word programming doesn't exist okay let's say here it is something like let's learn swimming and uh, we want to add the same string here when we run this program we see that python gets added here that's because when nothing is found like when the word programming is not found it returns minus one so it is print index if you can see this returns minus one and that's why python gets printed here so this shouldn't happen in that case to avoid it we can have simple if else block even if block would be which says sorry if index is greater than minus one only then will print the final word or we'll do the like changes to the word now so yeah just so that this looks fine we can also have a print statement uh, saying the index word not found in the string name index okay so here there is another error i'll just fix this okay now if we run the program we'll see that the index word programming not found in the string i'll just Q. Mm -mm. So there is an error. Sorry, this has to be backslash no, backslash. Well, so the index for programming not found on the string. That's what we got. So now let's look at the second method. In this method, we first convert the string to a list object and then get the index at which some string has to be inserted. And uh, after that, we insert the string at the particular index using the insert method and convert the list back to the string. So this, these are the steps that we perform. Let's see. This is the string that we have. Let's learn programming. And uh, let's say we want to insert the word Python. So to make it, let's learn Python programming. Let's learn how to do that. So basically, uh, let's say we want to insert the string at the index two, okay? And uh, firstly, we convert it to a list. That is word, we use word dot split off. When we do this, the list will be converted to the 
the list will be split based on the space and it gets converted to a list let me run this program so yeah when i run this let's see that it convert it get it gets converted to a list and it becomes let's learn programming there are now three objects in this list now so now let's use the insertion operator we are saying last word dot insert of at the index to and the string that we want to uh, you know insert is python okay we do that and uh, let's see what gets printed lst underscore word so as you can see at 0 1 2 at the second index python is been inserted now that we have modified the string as we want like modified the list object as we want we can actually merge it back to a string i mean we can actually convert it back to a string using the join uh, method so we say we'll join this particular uh, objects of the list to a string using the separator space so let's just print it so it gets converted to the string i hope this has been informative thank you so much for watching